You know, people say nothing could have prepared me for this. I literally died crash landing here and I was still unprepared. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Sonic Cat First 30, where we take a raw, blind look at a game you probably have never heard of before. Today, it's Beacon. Just came out, I think, today. I'll have all the information for you in the links below if you'd like to check it out or pick it up or play yourself. We're not going to worry about that right now, though. We're going to get into it. Droids are weak to energy damage. Well, sure. Okay, this is a load screen. All right, yeah. Okay, so now we're in it. So we just started our game, and now we're here. Inspect. Okay, I can do that. Uh, well, how do I introduce this? If you're reading this, hi, this is Freja Akiyama. I'm a sec runner for Shuriteku Interstellar, and I'm completely, unbelievably screwed. As far as I can tell, my situation is this. The ship, the Oro Ouroboros, Ouroboros, you've probably seen its burnt wreckage, tastefully adorning the landscape, came into the atmosphere somewhere up there and impacted on the side of this planet right about here. From what I can tell, quite a big explosion followed and my crushed, dead, flailing body was thrown a couple hundred feet into a tree. Luckily, my clone base still works, hence the fresh, new me. Believe me, the old me is in no state to be right in this. Unluckily, the distress beacon, the only thing they guaranteed would make it out of a crash intact, is missing. So my only hope is to find and activate the beacon locator from the ship. And that's not gonna be easy. Could've landed miles away from the crash site. It could've fallen off a cliff, it could be underwater. I'm pretty sure other people don't need to deal with these sorts of problems when they're less than 10 minutes old. True. Holy shit, that's rough. I am so sorry. Can we go this way? We can kind of go either way? Oh. Inspect. A sealed package of Shriteku Interstellar Standard Issue Rations. These nutrient-rich supplies are made ready to eat by infusing with water using the hydrator equipment found aboard all Shriteku Interstellar spacecraft. Dehydrated ration packs will last for an indeterminate amount of time without spoiling. Freya's notes. Ugh, okay. Yes, they might be vital for my survival, but God, these things are absolutely awful. I tried them once when I first signed up with SL, and I made sure the ship is loaded with my own supplies ever since. I guess Instant Robin isn't as crash-proof as this stuff, unfortunately. I got... Rations. Entry added to... Okay, it's just added like a, uh, a note. I don't think there's anything in else that I can mess with there, so we're gonna continue. Is there a, like a... Oh yeah, there's a stamina bar. Is that what that was? Yeah, so there's a stamina bar in the bottom left. And you can see it right above my status and my health. Which is very interesting. It means you can only dodge roll so many times. So I do have grenades. And I guess we're just kind of... Whoa, 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 whoa! What in what? What was that? Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay. All right, so stuff is, uh, stuff is happening quickly. Stuff is definitely happening quickly. All right, all right, everything is fine. Oh, whoa, 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 I got slime. I didn't realize I was playing Double Dare. Okay, I don't think these guys are ever gonna stop. No. I got slimed again. Is that thing gonna... Okay, so let's just try not to be slimed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa! The cliff! We jumped a little... A little too aggressively. Okay, it looks like I can just kind of... I'm not sure what in this game is going to do damage to me or not. It's hard to tell. Everything looks hostile. I guess that's why they said on the planet form it was like all the fauna was just hostile. That makes sense. I dodged across the waterfall just because I figured it was going to try and take my life. Oh, God! Oh, that's a dinosaur! Oh, no! 
Stop! Stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. So we're almost dead. This game got real, real quick. Okay, how do we go get that, uh... How do we get that chest? All right, I can melee. I forgot about that. Melee! Got him. And melee! Okay, but seriously, how do I... Oh, no. No, I don't have enough health. Oh. Oh, it was health. Thank God. Okay, I need to go around this way, it looks like. All right, very cool game so far. Whoa, 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 what is happening? Let's just grenade it. I feel like that was effective. Oh, I'm out of grenades. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. How do I get up there? Huh. They intentionally have areas that are kind of, uh, Outside. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. That is a big dinosaur. And he just went invisible? What kind of nonsense is that? Okay, little one done. Let's just, let's just keep it moving and we'll be fine. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't even see him. I think I just, I died. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we'll just sequence. We have the same ones. I don't know if it's going to do something different. Does it have a chance? Oh, it has a Mutation chance to mutate detected. every time. You feel a slow sinking feeling as though your body's being slowly encased in ice. With it, an irrepressible need to warm up overtakes you, driving you to seek heat by any means necessary. Desperate, you thrust your hand into an open flame only to find that the crackling fire provides you power as well as pain. Unsuspected subsystems come to life, converting the heat from the fire into energy for you to use from your, to your advantage. Max speed when burning and fire pyro ammo when burning. How cool is that? Rejected arm? Detected. Your body ferociously rejects your newly installed bionic arm, forcing you to remove it again. Heavy weapons are no longer a possibility. And without a steady hand, your overall aim suffers? Your decreased weight has made you swifter, at least. What? That's some garbage. Oh, so this one is locked because it already had a mutation. Wow, we got dunked on by that dinosaur so hard. Okay. Okay. This time, things are going to be different. Are we missing a head? I feel like our character is missing a head. Yep, yep, we're missing an arm and we're missing a head. And we, oh my God, how fucking cool is that? Our character has physically changed. Oh, it's different. A broken mass of electrical equipment seemingly originated from the Ouroboros, severely damaged from the crash and ensuing fire. Nothing salvageable remains amongst the blackened wires and charred panels. Freya's notes, this is bad to look at. These cables were junk, broken of all times, but still feels brass, ghost, gross. Seeing them in the ship broken and broken on the floor like this, it's a living thing, a big creature or a giant with his insides out. I don't really fully understand that, but that's fine. So I am really fast now. Holy shit, I'm fast. And then when I just got it set on fire, now we're firing. Oh, that's neat. Although it definitely just almost killed us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, excuse me? G goodbye, I guess? So now we're fighting different enemies. Whoa. Whoa, ho, ho. Oh, whoa, 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 chill the shit out, dude. Can we not like hyper beam the entire stage? Oh, I'm not going to survive long on this play. Oh, this is not going to work. We are too fast and too almost dead. 
Grenade, bitch! Got him. Oh, we got we got DNA. We got some different DNA. That's so good. Okay, let's just continue along the pipes and figure out what we're doing. Holy shit, this game is awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I just meleeed them. That was actually really effective, to be honest. Maybe I should try kind of uh, dodging into these guys and trying to get a melee, maybe? That could be a strategy. Uh, what is this? Okay, we got some grenades. Nanomed trauma patch. The Evotech name trauma patch is intended only for use in an emergency life or death situations. We recommend only applying the patch after a thorough consultation with a health professional. For use, follow the below instructions. Carefully tear open the packaging, leaving an adhesive sleeve attached to the trauma patch. Remove the sleeve and apply over the site of trauma, making sure to clean the area of blood or other fluids before application. Hold in place for three seconds or until a severe burning sensation begins. If the above instructions had been followed correctly, you'll experience a short period of euphoria. Please keep in mind that this effect is temporary and may be out of step with lasting benefit of the trauma patch. After a short time, the euphoria will subside and you'll be left with the physical results of the trauma patch. Heals for 75, heals decay over time. Okay. Okay, so there's a cooldown and it gives us... Let's just use it. It gave us extra max health. But that max health disappears. How cool is that? Although, um, it's not reusable as I just realized. Or it doesn't seem to be reusable. I'm pretty sure we just used it and that was it. It said five seconds on it. I thought that it was going to be reusable. I was wrong. It's okay to be wrong once in a while. This game is really cool. Prism Hydro Outpost. No, I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we want to avoid that slime nonsense. Alright, so we want to make sure that we're staying kind of pretty far away from most of the enemies. Uh, what can we interact with here? Doesn't look like anything. I guess we'll just kind of keep going. How do you know if there's a wall that you can break open? I'm assuming it'll just kind of tell me. That guy got me. I've been slowed. We did get another DNA mutation. Why am I slowed? Oh, I'm not slowed anymore. What is... I don't know if we should be using more grenades or not. All right, well, the slow doesn't really affect me because I'm so fast to begin with. Oh, no! There were trip mines there. There were trip mines. Oh, no. How do I undo these? So we can reset everything. I don't know that I'm crazy about these mods, so why don't we reset everything? Oh, and then we lose it. That's it. Ooh. So we can melee enemy grenades and knock them back. That's interesting. So if you hard reset, you don't get a chance to put in new ones. It doesn't just like clear the slate. Oh, how neat is that? So now we're in a, in a dark area. It's the same place, but I guess it's been generated now to be uh, the same. You're right. Yeah, we already had that. Okay. So now we're back to our regular person, but the, the area and stage is dark, and I'm assuming we're going to have different enemies now. Yeah, the layout of the stage is different. Before we had enemies already, but now... I'm kind of waiting. Whoa, the dinosaurs. I'm not a fan, not a fan, not a fan of these. They're so freaking fast. 
I'm not sure what that dinosaur was about to do. Oh, whoa, I'm dying? Oh, they explode into like poison gas. Wait, there was something that said it updated. Basalt overhang. They might look sturdy, but those basalt overhangs will come crashing down on the slightest encouragement. I can probably use that to my advantage so long as I don't slip off. What are we talking about here and why is this lighting up? Is it that? I don't I don't know. I have no idea what it was actually referring to. Oh, equipment. Nourishing yolk. Item made a data not found. Scan results below. The highly nutritious vitellus of the unborn Triteraptor, intended as the primary food source for a developing embryo, it nevertheless contains a wealth of vitamins and minerals that would be beneficial to other animals that might happen across it. On consumption, expected results would be a boost to the immune system and increased vitality. Ten and... Okay, so this looks like it's a temporary item that gives us speed and resistance. Oh, maybe we just picked it up right now already. I'm not really sure. Let's just continue, I guess. This game is banging. Uh, is this a dead end? This looks to be maybe a dead end. Oh, no! Oh, 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 wait, what? I would never have known that. How are you supposed to know the plants just randomly shoot you like that? I got slimed. I got slimed. Being slimed, I'm just gonna assume is very bad. I don't know why it's bad, but it does seem to be bad for some reason. What is that? Oh, sorry. Akiyama Freya, uh, designation section reconnaissance, detected cause of death, blood loss, via 367 puncture wounds. Jesus, these quills ripped through her suit like it was paper. Judging from the blood loss, she either died before her wounds could congeal, or the quills themselves contain some kind of anticoagulant to maximize their damage. It's incredible how effectively the wildlife can defend itself, as if they're somehow able to adapt to their aggressors within weeks rather than generations. Damn. Oh, shit. Nah. Nah. Oh, God. Whoa, where did that come from? I'm blind. No. What is that? Soured veins. Item metadata not found again. A separated section of solace flesh densely populated with thick veins in which the thick luminous blood of the solace has begun to congeal. Consumption will grant a brief period of greatly increased resistance to damage as the blood first as the blood first works its way into the host system, but inevitably leads to a crash, whereby the host body is deprived of further supply and goes into shock. Reduced resistance and speed follow for a short time. Damn. So I don't like when these guys are going invisible or tunneling. Not a fan of that. I'm gonna wait till that dissipates. What the sh- what, no, no. Come on, a storm? I'm just trying to survive against the- Against the environment like as it is. I don't need extra crap trying to kill me. All right, let's continue. Whoa. What is this? Oh! What is happening? What is happening? I have no idea what that did. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what we're doing here. All right, I'm just trying to clear the area first before we... I've activated the flux node. What has that done for us? Not much, it seems like. Storm cell I really don't like the storm cell incoming. 
I'm assuming if I walk in front of that, I'm going to be instantly murdered. Like, instantly vaporized. Huh. That didn't really do anything. Can I rotate this? Oh, I can. Oh, fire it back! It's a double laser! Okay, it didn't do anything. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, okay. Let's activate this. What is all this? Is this just supplies? Yeah. Adrenaline injector. Overtake the rest with lightning quick adrenaline injector from exchange energy products. Sprint faster, run longer, and react quicker. The adrenaline injector will take you from zero to 60 in one quick jab. Outlawed from sporting events and retirement homes, one thing's for certain. This ain't your grandma's performance enhancer. Tesla injector? As a way to say thank you to the loyal workers at Prism and elsewhere, we've produced the new Tesla injector, removing the difficult choice between providing breaks for employees or suffering decreased productivity through an overstretched workforce. Now a single intravenous injection allows the recipient to shrug off lethargy or fatigue and get back to work with boundless energy. The company is back to full-time productivity and the workforce no longer loses efficiency. Win-win. Unlimited stamina. Damn. Okay, so I guess we're done with this area. We did that. I guess it was just to kind of get you more equipment and get you moving. So I'm going to need to remember that I have an, uh, an infinite stamina item that I may need to use if we come across like a boss or something. Munitions located. Where? Oh, this way. Okay. What is... This seems to be nothing. I think I can still hear that laser. And it's getting kind of annoying. That seems bad. That seems bad. I'm on fire! Why? Oh, God! Stop! Oh, God, I can't see my health! I think I'm dying! Oh, I wish I could see. Oh, we got, we got it. We got some DNA. Okay, we're actually not that dead. I thought we were way more dead. That was, that was rough, not gonna lie. That was just suddenly, I got locked in and then I couldn't do anything. What is this? Oh, Tesla drone. It's with great pride that we announced the introduction of the new Prism Tesla drone. Hot on the heels of our successful Tesla droid, the drone utilizes the same technology, but in a completely autonomous package. Designed for personal security and area denial, the Tesla drone will emit bursts of electricity within a close proximity of the user. The basic behavior is bolstered by an ability to charge a more severe shock, which is emitted should a target remain within its firing range for the duration of more than four seconds. I like it. Also, a new gun. Um, this fires explosive flame ball projectiles and leaves a flame pool. Initially designed as a luxury gardening tool for the upper echelons, it was quickly discovered that while the flame pistol was effective at burning away weeds, it also burned away all matter underneath and around the weeds for several feet. Nevertheless, we know a strong design when we see one, and the flame pistol was sent through R&D once again for potential alternate uses. The result is now before you, a light portable weapon that lobs balls of fire to target, splashing out in a pool of flames on impact, perfect for burning away any uh, biological obstructions of any variety. Damn. Okay, yeah. I'm for it. Wow, that's awesome. What is all this stuff? The Tesla pistol? A predecessor of the Tesla Prism Pest, uh, Prism Tesla pistol originally appeared as part of our non-lethal home security range. However, it soon became apparent that the demand for such weaponry was simply not there. 
leading to the range being recalled and the weaponry taken off sale. Reluctant to let good engineering go to waste, however, the Tesla pistol was retooled and following some minor adjustments to its voltage, what was once a powerful deterrent became a permanent one. Fires many Tesla balls, semi-automatic penetrates. Oh! I, uh, I think I'm gonna have to give it to the pyro pistol for now because of that. Let's reload it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's see who comes and attacks me now that I have a, a pistol that shoots fire. What is this? Oh, pinging beacons. Oh, did we finish a stage? I think we finished a stage. Remember to use your grenades and pickups as often as you can because they'll drop more often. Woo! Okay, so I thought things might be a bit rough when I set out, but that is, this was kind of chaos. You know, people say, nothing could have prepared me for this. I literally died crash landing here and I was still unprepared. I got here though. It seems like things were calming down a bit, so I took the opportunity to set up a small camp and recuperate. Things currently working in my favor are, I'm making progress. The beacon locator's actually working. I've stayed alive for two consecutive days. Th there are things to worry about though. The landscape seems like it's changing as I get further from the ship. Those bugs were already all over the place before, but here it looks like this is their territory and they don't just hang around, they've actually started building. That might be a bit of a strong word, but they're sure as hell doing something here. It seems like they've covered almost anything they can find in luminous goo, almost creating basic structures. I need to stay on guard here. They seem territorial before, and this is their home turf. I can't imagine it's gonna get any easier. Get fucked! That's right. Okay, what are we doing now? I need, I need to shoot something. I have this fire pistol. I need to hit something with it. Please? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, whoa! I set him on fire and he just came right at me. Oh, that's not good. Okay, gotta be slightly more careful. Okay, I'm on fire again, great. Okay, so there might be like a, a few very good reasons for not wanting to use this. Not gonna lie. Waste disposal? I have all these options. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, shield guy. Okay, don't like this. Please stop. Please stop, thank you. Wow. Is that thing still alive? Well, not anymore. I almost fell off that so quick. Okay, we got more DNA. All right, I feel like I'm finally kind of picking up the game a little bit. Let us continue. All right, so yeah, that was easy. I'm on fire now, that's great. So I should really not use this pistol because I think I'm gonna end up doing more damage to myself than I really am to other enemies, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, hey, at least I'm not on fire again. Speed boots! Hot soles speed boots are the footwear that's taken to the core of the worlds by storm. Amaze your parents with lightning fast speed, no batteries required. With hundreds of colors and stylish design, all that's left to do is lace up your new shoes and start living your life in the fast lane. Auto lace options also available. Speed boots, entry added to their codex. Wait, do I just get those permanently? What's... I don't seem to see those in my... Oh yeah, I'm just really fast. Holy shit, we are so fast. This is a bad combo with setting everything on fire, but I guess this is just what we're doing. I missed. All right, I guess we're going in here. Whoa. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is not what I want. Oh God. Tesla drone, Tesla drone, Tesla drone. Everything is, everything is going very poorly. 
Oh, shit. Oh, no! This is bad! Oh, I just tossed... No, I had a grenade made it. Everything is fine. We're fine. Okay. Definitely should not be using a gun that just explodes into giant fireballs anymore. I, I've realized the error of my ways. Oh, goodness. I have no health. I'm very low on grenades, and I'm fairly certain I'm going to die soon. But we're really fast, so we got that going for us. I w oh, not dinosaurs. Oh, actually, I just shit on that dinosaur. Deal with that. Oh, fuck. Oh, I just... I'm on fire. Oh, we're burning. Okay. Yep. Yep. This is all going south very quickly. It was nice knowing you all. Let's just... Okay. So, there are definitely, like, a lot of reasons why you should not use something that just explodes. Oh, boy. Okay, so we lost our mods that we had previously had at some point. Luck? What does luck even do? Okay, let's j one, two, three, four. We have five. Let's just put all these in just to see what happens. So that's gonna give us basically no health. Neat. And uh, crit chance is lower, but hey, we have speed and, and luck. Let's sequence it and see what happens. This is a horrible idea, by the way. Yeah, this is not good. I'd like to have a basically no health. Okay, here we go. Detected. The top of your head grows deathly cold, colder than anything. You hear and feel a crack as your brittle skull breaks open to allow metallic spikes to push out into the air. So seemingly nestled directly in your gray matter, the spikes unfurl to form transmitters, allowing you to interface with your prism equipment and to hack lock keypads. Though you find that doing so is detrimental to your health. Hack keypads for 20 health? I only have like 23 total health. I can't do that. Oh no. Oh no. Jolted veins. Detected. Your veins pulse against your skin, electricity ca uh, crackling through them, eliciting a dull pain that you can never quite become accustomed to. The skin on your wrist ruptures to make way for the raw and inflamed veins, which dis discharge a shock to anything that comes into contact. Chance for melee attack shocks? I don't feel like we got... I don't feel like that was a great idea. We have no, we have, we have no health. We have no health. And I feel like that could be a problem for us. Oh, look at that. We have a weird head. We have a really weird head. And our arm is. So we have no health. We're really fast. Uh, the rations. <laughs> Let's go try to punch something. And see if we don't immediately die. It would be interesting to see the shock. And then we're gonna wrap up, because we need to wrap this up. Oh! They did get shocked. They got shocked and stunned. Alright, that wasn't actually that bad. Oh, they both got shocked and stunned. How good is that? That's actually like a really good combo. And it's probably gonna be hyper effective against droids or anything, uh, any kind of robot enemy. But getting close to um, anything else is probably gonna be very bad. There's a lot of noises that... Whoa. So melee is actually super effective. Okay, so just a lot of this stuff just can't be, oh, open. I was gonna say opened. All right. I feel like I got the basic gist of this game. Oh, that's probably bad. Eat a grenade. 
Also, you guys, please toss a grenade. I died. There were guys behind me. There were definitely some enemies behind me. What is this? You? What does you mean? Oh, we can switch them. Oh, so the gene itself still mutated, but you can change the, um... That's interesting. So if we sequence now, is it gonna change? So what happens now? Brittle bones? I don't want brittle bones! You creak and judder with each step. Your bones underdevelop, leaving them prone and uh, leaving leaving them prone to break under stress. Strenuous exercise can now leave you feeling dazed. At least the extra bone mass has made you a bit more resistant. Ten percent chance to stun yourself on a dodge. That's not good at all. Tungsten sheet. Detected. Thick metal plate and erupts from your rib cage, connected to a simple set of wire and giving you minor protection to all damage types. 35 armor against all damage, 50 health, but minus. That's so good, but brittle bones is so bad. I just wanna, I wanna look at what we look like and then I'm gonna wrap up here cause we're over our time, but this was so much fun. Beta Tesla droid into fire and its attack at groups of friendlies. Oh yeah, look at that. We have a giant chest armor plate now. And we have a weird tail. Okay, so at the end of the first 30s, I like to wrap it up with a bit of uh, feedback and point out some things that maybe weren't as obvious to you if you didn't have the controls in your hands when, uh, when you were actually playing. Right off the bat, first off, this game is fun. This game is super fun, and I love this RPG system that they put in this game. It is so good. So basically you keep, it's it's like a roguelike game. You keep going through run after run after run and you can kind of upgrade and customize your character through RNG, but still you'll be able to keep some and modify others it seems like, which is really neat. The variety and the, the, the different types of equipment that you can get really make this a fun experience. So even just from going to the pistol, to the assault rifle, to the flame launcher, it was a completely different experience from play to play, right? And then every time you died, you would come back, start over. You still have your mods and everything. You can kind of upgrade and change your character in really interesting ways. But it just lends itself to being such a unique experience every single time you go through it with some things that are going to be holdovers. And right, uh, eventually you're going to get to a place where you probably don't want to change your DNA at all, right? You just have, you have the best set of five mutations where it's like, not only do you have a ton of health and armor and speed, but also, you know, you electrocute enemies just by standing near them and, and you know, all these other cool, cool things. And I'm certain that we only saw like a tiny subset of, of all the mutations and things that you can get. And that's fucking cool. There's just so many items, and the lore too in the game. The writing is really well done. It's funny. I was, I was definitely laughing and cracking up at, at uh, how they kind of wrote in both like the corporations and the and the space industry and all these, uh, all these developers of tech and like they made it real for their world, which is very very neat. So down down here it says Clone Bay, and then Kuro Ningu Bay. Uh, they have it written in Japanese, which is kind of neat. But yeah, just the entire idea of the game, how they make it work for their world, and how they've written the lore to support everything, and everything is very well interconnected. Very well made, well done game. You should be playing this. Honestly, it's just, it was so much fun and a delight to go through and do that. And I don't think there's any kind of multiplayer, uh, but... That, that's fine. This is, this is a great experience playing it even just by yourself, honestly. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of something negative that I can say about the game. The, I, I mean, the dinosaurs were real annoying. They're fast and they pounced me and killed me and they went invisible. That's, that's kind of negative. But that's not a, a dig at the game. That's just a dig at my own ability to play it. So I don't know that that really counts. I could see people disliking the stamina system. Not being able to dodge roll all the time or use melee, I could see people taking issue with that. But that's about the best I can do, honestly. 
I just had a fun time playing it, and there's, again, very little negative that I can honestly say about it. So, highly recommended. If you're into these kinds of games, like Bastion or... Was Transistor also kind of like this, the style? It may have been. But yeah, just the really fast-paced, everything is kind of a skill shot where you're aiming around and moving through the stages, the environment reacts, the enemies react, and you have a different playthrough every time. It's so unique and interesting. Just, yeah, highly recommended. This game was a lot of fun to play. But yeah, that's it. So we're gonna wrap up there. As always, or if you're new here, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Start a discussion. Talk to me about it. What do you guys think? It's a new game. I'd love to hear it. And until next time, burn bright, everybody.